What's good, working fam? It's your girl Eden, and I'm about to go to work. I'm actually running kind of late, so I gotta go. And it's casual Friday, so I just, you know, dressed down a little bit, just put on a sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna go say bye to Cameron, and then I'm out of here. Cameron. What's up, girly? Oh, man. Good morning, mugs. Good morning, boy. See, you got your little sour patch. <laughs> wow. It's like when I take off my ends, the sock gets stuck in here. Oh. Tired. Me too. <laughs> I bet you are. You get to go back to bed at least. I got things to do. Yeah. Yeah. Stay at home husband. But first, it's back to bed. I just got up and I took a shower, and I've got to tell y'all, I hopped out of the shower and I fell to the ground. I mean, my back was aching. Oh my goodness, my back was aching. I really cannot believe this, y'all. Hopefully my back's not going out again. Uh, I don't think I was doing YouTube at the time, but last year my back went out, and when it went out, I was on the ground for hours and hours until Eden got home, and that just was not a pleasant experience. If your guys' back has ever went out, y'all would know that's the worst type of pain you can experience, period. I mean, once you go through it, you never want to go through it again. So I just drank a whole lot of water, did some stretches, and hopefully I'm good for the day. And hopefully I can take these dogs out without falling to the ground outside and being stuck outside in the cold. That would be horrible. This is how my day begins. Yep. not your typical family where the husband stays at home and there's a bad stigma to it but if you knew exactly what me and Eden are trying to do with our lives and better for our future you would know exactly why I'm staying at home why I'm starting a business and in the meantime I'm getting all the housework done taking less stress off of her as you guys will see and I just want to change the stereotype from the stay-at-home husband and make you see that it works. When I come back inside from taking the dogs out, I typically just start cleaning the house. You know, just the typical upkeep of the house, making the bed, washing the clothes, doing things like that. That way, Eden doesn't have to worry about it when she gets home. That way, Eden doesn't have to worry about it when she gets home from a long day of work. And I've already been sitting here. She has a long drive there and a long drive back. So, I'm taking the responsibility of cleaning the house. All right, 
after I'm done making the bed, what I do is just pick up like the dirty clothes in the restroom from the night before and throw that inside the dirty clothes hamper. If the dirty clothes hamper is full, I'll go ahead and get those washed. So I don't know how you guys wash clothes, but me and Eden, we typically just separate the lights from the darks and wash it that way. So not necessarily just whites versus darks. We do lights and darks because it doesn't really matter when you do it that way, in my opinion. All right, now that that's going, I typically go and check out the dishes, make sure everything's good in the kitchen. Uh, got a bowl of cereal right here that I just ate a little bit before I started cleaning, so time to get it in in the kitchen as well. So uh, this is what we got. We just got a couple of bowls. Got to put in some clean, put up the clean dishes. So this is what we're working with. We've just got a couple of bowls, nothing too dirty because we like to keep a clean, clean kitchen around here. So we've actually got clean dishes in the dishwasher that I need to put up. And I basically just need to hand wash everything that's left over inside the sink. And it doesn't look like too bad of a job. And then we'll move on to other activities. Okay, after I'm done cleaning the kitchen, I kind of just look for things that need to be done around the house that we just typically don't have the time to get to. Now, I've been out of work for about, about a month and a half now, almost two months. Yes, I'm starting my own business. I built the website from scratch and I just made it go live. And I'm not some website guru or anything like that. So it took me a little while to build it. I built it in 48 hours, I believe, but it took me a little bit longer to go ahead and take that live. And that's because I was focused on other things and I was actually getting my break that I had not yet gotten in a long, long time. I had two weeks worth of PTO and you know, I utilize it. Right now I'm on unemployment. So, you know, I get to enjoy that benefit. Not really enjoy it because it's not even half of what I used to make so but it is making it sustainable for us at least at this moment so I've got to get that business up and going and making money for us very 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 soon so uh, one of the things that I realized is that last time Eden tried to vacuum the vacuum wasn't really picking up it wasn't spinning so I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do a quick fix on a vacuum instead of going out and buying a new one or anything like that. It's it's quick, it's simple. Let's get it done. So here goes our vacuum. If you notice the little like brushes inside there, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on. You're gonna see that those don't move. So there's no rotation. Right there. There's no rotation right there. And you guys all know that's supposed to rotate. That's actually what picks up all the dust and dirt and everything from your carpet. And in our case, dog hair. Uh, yes, uh, lots and lots of dog hair. You guys see that? 
that's probably from cleaning like one little tiny, tiny section um, out here inside the apartment. Like, I mean like a section this big, boom. That's probably how much hair comes up when you have two hairy dogs. So if you guys are thinking about getting a dog and you guys don't have any idea what type of dogs to get, don't get a hairy one. That's just my advice, but let me go ahead and show you guys the quick fix on how to fix this. It's probably because something is caught inside the wheel. I don't know what it's called. I'm not that technical. I just know how to fix things. So it's probably caught on the inside where there's like a rubber band. Um, there's probably something caught within that rubber band that's making the rubber band not spin. So I'm gonna open it up. It's only a few screws. Take, remove that and then put it back on and it should work. Let's get it. All right. All you need to fit. All you need to. All you need to fix this is a screwdriver and basically you just go in from the bottom. There's gonna be just a few screws on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you unscrew all of them, six, because if you don't, you'll be trying to rip this plastic cover off and it won't come off and you'll actually crack the plastic cover that's very, very fragile if you got a cheap vacuum like I. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these screws off and show you guys exactly how to fix it. After you take the screws off, you just go ahead and pull the cover off. It may be a little tough, but just pull it off. Uh, be stuck right there. There it goes. Ah, that's a lot of dirt. The rubber band that I was talking about is right there, as you can see it. And you see that all that dog hair, that is nastiness. Just go ahead and rip that all off. That's what's got everything stuck. Oh, that's a ton of dog hair. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it was wrapped around here. Oh my goodness. That's lots of dog hair. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of dog hair that got stuck in here. More dog hair. More. More dog hair. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the like the hose that comes off here, the little suction tool, and suck out all the excess hair that I didn't feel like just grabbing out. It's it's funky in there. So I'm just gonna uh, put that up against it, take some more hair out, and put the rubber band back on, and we should be all good to go. To reattach this tool that came off, there's a little hook inside there. Don't know if you can see it, the little silver hook. Basically, you just put that this around the hook and you're good to go. If you can't get it around the hook, I've taken like basically a pen or a pencil and kind of like helped me nudge it in uh, under the hook. All right, it's around the hook. I took this off to make it a little bit easier. All you have to do is wrap it back around here, like so. So since it's already on that hook, just take this, put it up on here, where it's supposed to go, the ridges, uh, on the ridges, and just pop that back in here. And it should be good to go. Dang, on it. Ah, that was tough. Boom, boom. Put the plastic covering back on and you should be good to go. All right, y'all, the moment of truth. There it goes, it's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the crib because it hasn't been vacuumed in like a week now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that vacuumed. 
Thumbs up if that's helpful. Thumbs up if you didn't know how to fix a vacuum. Share the video if you think somebody else can find this useful. And subscribe to the family if you haven't already. Is it just me or is this something about freshly vacuumed carpet? You know, I like to get the lines like looking good. Like this guy, there's something about it, man. There's just, there's no explaining it. There's just something about it that's just satisfying. Comment below if you agree. Okay guys, so I found another problem while I was vacuuming and it looks like there was a hold up because I know we haven't taken down the Christmas tree and we really need to do that. And this is what happens when you vacuum Christmas trees. I never knew that would happen. So it kind of blocked up everything. So now I have to clear out this tube. I'm gonna shake it off in the trash can. But dang, this thing did some, did some work. It did some work, y'all. Let me clean this out and finish my job. All right, after I get the crib in order, the next line of business is getting my business up and going. So I spent a few hours doing whatever it takes to get the business up and going, if that means making marketing materials or opening the business through the state secretary, then I go through all of that process right now um, and then I'll start prospecting for my business. So any business that you have, you have to have someone who needs your services or else you don't have a business so for me I do my business and I actually can reach out via email so I'm creating an email list marketing list doing my research and finding contacts to reach out to who could possibly use my services and once they do I need a contract as well so I'm putting that contract together getting all the back-end work together in regards to starting a business starting a business is not the easiest process to get started. I would say it's harder to get started than it is to maintain your business. And maintaining your business is, comes with its own set of problems and things that you have to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then by that time, I think Eden will be just about home. When she gets home, what we'll do, we'll sit down and discuss our goals and where they are and kind of like where we are this week and what we're looking at this year because it's January y'all everybody should be setting goals and trying to maintain those goals did you last past the first week doing your New Year's resolutions or goals that you set for the year there's still enough time to turn around and make sure you complete those goals this year so we're trying to get a house this year believe me we gonna get it Oh yeah, and another thing. A lot of people have this bad stigma of a stay-at-home husband like it's some woman's duty or guy's duty. Now, yes, we have our own sets of duties that you have to maintain and handle. For years, I've made a good, a good income. I mean, better income than most people that I do know. And, you know, I was bringing that money in. We were able to do a lot of things and afford a lot of things that we wouldn't be able to afford. And now I'm taking that step back to make a huge, a huge step forward. So Eden understands that, and she understands that the money's gonna be a little bit short for a little bit until I get this business up and going, y'all. But once it gets going, it's gonna be popping, y'all. Trust me, it's gonna be popping. And we're gonna be able to get everything that we ever wanted. Uh, and right now, that's just a house. She wants to be able to vacation and things like that. And we're trying to get our time back. That's the number one goal, to tell you the truth. We're trying to get our time back. That means not working like a slave, working 60, 80 hours a week for some company, and you know, you never have enough time for your family. Right now, we don't have a huge family, it's just me and her, but we do plan on having kids in the future. And when we do have those kids, I wanna be able to sit down and participate with the kids, be at all their games, be at all their practices, forever sport, or any activity that they're doing. I wanna be actively involved inside my kids' life, unlike what America is basically making it 
not to be. They're making you have to work so hard and bust your butt so bad to provide for your family that you don't have enough time for your family. And that just sets up for, for bad things to happen. And it's just not, it's not a good life. I mean, who feels comfortable living that life? I know a lot of Americans and people over here, we really, really have fallen into this like slavery grind and they like, oh, it's grind time, it's grind time. I would say the only way out is to work for yourself or hit the lotto. And I don't see myself hitting the lotto anytime soon. So right now we're working on starting a business once this business gets up and going and is successful to a certain point, then Eden will come on board and she'll join me and we'll be joining forces as husband and wife, knocking it out, y'all. And we're just trying to be that power couple that's able to do that and able to get all our time back and able to travel the world and just have all our time for our family and friends and actually enjoy life and not spend it stressing over some job that is not secure and no job is secure y'all they can let you go you they can let you go after 10 15 years of good hard work at any moment y'all nothing secure unless you secure it yourself but i'm done with that spill let me go ahead and get started on doing all the activities i need to do today with my business and let's get away from the stigma of the stay at home husband is a bad thing now i know a lot of dudes will sit at home and kind of like use their woman to provide and things like that, but that's not the story here. Right here is a moment of growth. It's a moment of growth and as you see, I cleaned the whole entire crib and that's what I'm gonna do because I need to be taking that work off of her while I'm trying to get this up and going because she's allowing me. And yes, I'm not afraid to say it. She's allowing me to be able to do this. As husband and wife, you guys do have to discuss things together and we've discussed this, y'all. And this is the route that we're going. So, wish us luck, let's get it. And now Eden is home. What's up guys? It's like seven o'clock, I'm right. finally done for the day. A hard day at work? You look like you're still working. I just check emails when I get home. So I had a question for you. How do you feel about having a work at home husband? Or live at home husband? I think it's nice because he no longer gets on me about doing things. <laughs> That's the best part of it. <laughs> because it's probably already done. Exactly. No, I don't gotta do all the little stuff. He always bugs me about. Works out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll be back with more vlogs and more challenges, pranks. Comment below what you guys want to see. Until next time, we out. We out. We, we out. out. And by the way, I'm over here sitting in this chair because, as I said, my back has went like basically out. I'm basically almost. Almost uh, non movable, or what do you want to call it? Yeah, Handicapped. I, I told you guys, but I had to like come home from work one day and like get him up off the floor. And I thought that it was going to happen today, but it didn't. So I'm thankful for that. At least I can get up and down from my chair. Hardly, like but barely. <laughs> but I'm, I'm still moving. So uh, wish me well. Until next time, we out. We out. We, we out. out.